welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. This is another video of my feminine and sophisticated posture series. So if you are new on this channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss the videos that are following. Today it will be all about sitting. Sitting femininely, sitting elegantly and sitting in a graceful and sophisticated way on a sofa as well as on the chairs. So you already know from my previous video how to have a feminine, classy and sophisticated posture. And this is the base for all of our positions and activities that we will do that have to do with posture. And I am wearing a corset. And this is also a secret tip from my side. If you are invited somewhere where you won't eat a lot, because if you want to eat a lot, this is not a good choice. And you want to have a nice posture and look very feminine automatically, I can recommend to wear a corset like this one. This one is actually a rather playful one. It's not super, super elegant but there are many kinds of corsets. I have four in total and mine are from Corset Story, but uh, for sure there are other brands also. I will research a little bit and link some examples down below if you're interested. Those corsets, they are closed in the front so you can close them by yourself and then they have those ribbons in the back so basically I did it myself. I just closed it in the front and then in the back I made it a little bit tighter but not too tight because we still want to breathe of course and uh, it's not the healthiest thing to wear a corset all the time especially if it's very tight so don't wear it on a daily basis. I'm just for special occasions. It's a nice alternative especially if you have a hard time maintaining a good posture. So that was my little tip, but now let's proceed with the sitting positions and sitting down. So there are several ways to sit on a chair. If you have a chair like this, for example, which is a normal eating table chair, you should not look behind you like this before sitting down. The most elegant way to sit down on a chair is of course located more, uh, more or less because you have to know where it is. You don't want to sit to fall on the floor but then you just don't look back and you back off a little bit with your body frontal and you back off until your calf hits the chair a little bit and then you sit down. And you see, I kept my knees together while sitting down. And this is very, very crucial because especially when you are wearing skirts like that, so those classical pencil skirts or this one is a little bit more romantic and it's not very long, it's, it ends above the knees. If you keep your knees a little bit apart, people can actually look under your skirt because pencil skirts are mostly tight. So there is kind of gap visible when you loosen your legs a little bit. So I will now show you also how to handle those kind of uh, situations. So after we sat down, we see that if we sat like this, it would be a rather stiff and uncomfortable position. And also we have this, as I said, gap <laughs> that is here in the front, especially when you're wearing tight and straight skirts. So what we will do now is we will tilt our legs a little bit to the side like this. This already lowers them a little bit and it closes this gap a little bit. The second thing we will do, we will just cross our ankles and then our sitting position is already a little bit more natural but also still very feminine and relaxed and of course also classy and graceful. So either you have this frontal position and tilt your legs 
or you cross and tilt then. Another option for the legs is what most women do. We cross our legs like this. I mean, this is also possible, but it depends what situation you are in. So it's a little bit more elegant when you also tilt your legs in the cross position. You see that instantly you have kind of curved to your body. You look more feminine and sensual. If you have this position, you look more like a rather powerful position, which is also good. But if you don't want to have this very powerful position, then you just tilt the legs a little bit and then you instantly appear more feminine. Now what to do with those hands? You saw that I had my hands in my lap for the reason to prevent someone looking, you know, under my skirt because with those skirts you never know. So in order to be secure while sitting down, you also can let your hands slide a little bit down and it will also look kind of feminine. The other possibility is you can also slide sidewards and then sit down and rest one hand on your knee for example and then decide what position you would like to take. So the sliding position while sitting down is already a very feminine gesture and body language. But when you are sitting, I will now choose this cross ankle position because it's one of the most classic ones, also in etiquette and protocol. I will now show you what to do with the hands. So the most classy and sophisticated um, way to hold your hands is just hold them in your lap. And either you can hold them like this with your palms open, one hand in the other, or you could of course also hold them the other way around, one hand over the other, like this. So either with open palms or with the palms facing downwards. Of course, you can also position them a little bit in a different way. For example, you could slide down with your hand and hold the other hand on your wrist. This is the most common posture that you can apply when sitting on a straight chair like this. But what can you do when you are sitting on a sofa? Now let's look at that. So we were sitting, but now how to get up? Because of course when we sit down we also have to get up in an elegant way. So you just uncross your legs and in the same manner that you sat down, you can stand up. You can also stand up while moving your hands up a little bit. That will give you this sensual look, but don't exaggerate it. <laughs> we don't want to like sit up like this because that will be obviously <laughs> a little bit too much and exaggerated. But I mean in a very subtle way. So maybe it would be even beneficial when you move just one hand at a time, like this. So now we are having the sofa situation. Why? Because oftentimes there are lounges or beautiful bars or even a foyers in theaters, in the opera or in hotel lobbies where we also have to sit down. And those places are even more exposed because sofas are usually large and, you know, a little bit more of a relaxed place. We will just use this as normal sofa and I moved the table a little bit so that you can see. And uh, I will now show you how to sit in a classy and feminine way on a sofa. So in order to sit on the sofa, we apply the same technique that we applied for the chair sitting. We go backwards a little bit until we feel 
the sofa, hitting our calves and then we sit down in the same way as we sat down on the normal chair. But sofas are mostly a more, it's, a, it's kind of a bigger challenge because there are some sofas that are very, they are not very stable so you kind of fall into the sofa and this is why you should be extra careful when sitting down on a sofa. But most sofas are rather firm like this one and then it's almost the same story as with the chair. What you can do next, if you have a sofa, of course, it's a different situation than if you are sitting on a chair. Because mostly there are things around you or maybe also other possibilities where you can put your arms. As I said, you can apply the same leg position as sitting on a chair, but normally sofas are a little bit lower than chairs. And in this case, it might also be a little bit tricky, but normally crossed ankle position is the best. So again, you can sit down like this and tilt your legs on the side. You can cross your ankles and sit like this. Or, of course, we can also use the crossed leg position, but I would not advise it on the sofa because as you see yourself, it looks a little bit too exaggerated. We are sitting lower than on a chair and in this case, what many women do, they sit like this and then you have those, of course, long legs, but on the other side, it doesn't look very elegant and sophisticated. So better keep your legs like this, ankle crossed. Ankles crossed is a little bit more of a relaxed position. And then what to do with the hands? So as I said, of course, you can use the same hand positions like on the chair, but you could also place one hand on the sofa like this and the other hand remains in your lap or like this on one leg. for making it till the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hoped you liked it and if it was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe because there are more videos to follow that will cover other topics regarding a feminine and sophisticated position and posture. And if you haven't seen the first video, also I will link it here so that you can watch it again because it explains what the base posture of an elegant and sophisticated appearance is.